Good afternoon. This is Adam Fennig with Fennig Equipment. In this version of the Talking Shed, we're going to cover the Yetter 6200 Spike Closing Wheel. And we'll discuss the main points that you should look at when choosing the ultimate closing wheel for your operation. We'll also cover why the Yetter 6200 fits the bill for being the ultimate spike closing wheel. Now today, we're going to redefine the wheel. Well, the closing wheel, that is. We may not redefine it, but we're certainly going to go over the top three, uh, the top three reasons and, and topics that you should look for in, when deciding what, what closing wheel would work best for your operation. Now, the, there's three things that I think you, you should look over as to what the purpose is for a closing wheel. Number one, you want it to break down that sidewall compaction formed by the planner unit. Um, basically, you want it to seal that slot. Um, today's regular conventional rubber closing wheels don't always do that in every condition. Some conditions they do. We'll go over that in a little bit. Number two, you want to optimize seed to soil contact. Now, let's take a minute on this number two. This is actually the ultimate goal of your closing wheels. Some guys overlook this one. Um, there's closing wheels out there with all kinds of gears and gadgets on them. Really, all you want to do is increase seed to soil contact in every condition. Now, three, ultimately you want to seal the slot made by the double disc openers. Again, that's a reiteration of two. So, with that being said, these general rubber ones that came with the planner I just purchased should work perfect. Wrong. In some few conditions, these will be the ultimate closing wheel, but not all. What we're looking for is a closing wheel that will work in conventional, no-till, dry, wet, varying conditions throughout the field. And we feel there are, are three ways that the Yetter closing wheel fits the bill and the criteria of those three points we just highlighted in becoming the ultimate closing wheel. Number one, it breaks down the side. We need it to break down the sidewall compaction in any condition. Any condition. It needs to have a firming mechanism to increase seed to soil contact. You'll see what I mean here in a little bit. There's plenty of closing wheels out there without a, without a firming mechanism. And three, have a depth control system to prevent flipping the seed. Three is a big one. Three can shy guys away from a closing wheel, and three can also be overlooked. Um, there's plenty of closing wheels that don't have a depth control system and if you have all the down pressure on that back tail this can be a problem but we'll go over that in a second so the solution we feel being the Yetter 6200 closing wheel is pretty cut and dry um, here's the cast Yetter closing wheel as you can see it's got the spikes it has the depth band, which we will talk about in a second. It's actually the same diameter as that rubber sitting next to it. So as you look at the arrows, the spikes here, they break down that sidewall compaction. That covers point number one that we talked about, breaking down sidewall compaction. Two, the dual purpose depth band. Well, it's de dual purpose because it's a depth band and a firming wheel. After those spikes break down that sidewall, that rim pushes that dirt down into the slot. You'll see it in a picture here in a little bit. It also ser serves as a depth band. If these two wheels here are spaced at two and a half inches and there is minimum pressure on that tail, it is impossible, and I'll say it again, impossible for this wheel to flip seed. Here's a picture here of our planner. We just lift it. You can see there's three dots there in the ground. That's where those spikes went in, broke down that sidewall. In between those, you can see where that dual purpose rim just gradually pushed that dirt down into the ground, which covers point two, increasing seed to soil contact. Again, you can see how soft and crumbled that dirt is behind there where we lifted the planter. Where that slot is, the planter obviously, those closing wheels ha obviously haven't gotten to it yet. But you can see, not only will this help the seed germinate, but think of the varying conditions you plant in. You know, it, 
this you will see dramatic increases in germination and, and how fast these seeds will pop up um, and they pop up sooner they start growing faster everything rolls into a big ball at the end and you'll you will be happy with with uh, what you will find out of these many guys come to us and say what is what is one small thing I can do to my planter to make a huge difference is it my fertilizer mixture what is it well it's it's this closing mill system if you look at your your speed of of pop-up between using a spike closing wheel versus two rubbers it's night and day just imagine how easy it is for for uh, plants to, to come up through there versus being able to walk along have a slot and being able to count kernels that's no good so this is by far the most cost effective way to increase the the value of your planting system well we're about out of time folks and I thank you for joining me today on the talking shed as we cover the Yetter 6200 spike closing wheel and is it and its advantages and how it can work on your planning system. Thank you.